Guys, I'm here to talk to you about a very serious topic, genetic engineering. Now, I've been doing a lot of online research about this and found that there's a lot of misconceptions and misunderstandings. So now, first, let me get this image in your head. The year is 2050, and there's a genetic engineering parlor. Or, and so now this big, beefy biker guy walks in dressed in black leather and chains. He goes up to the um, geneticist working the parlor, and he goes, Like a tail! So the geneticist replies, Hey, what kind of tail would you like, sir? And the biker guy goes, Like a cat tail. The geneticist goes, Who's how much fur and what color would you like? And so then the biker guy replies, Like a blue and fluff it up. And so the um geneticist gets three needles and injects the biker guy with all three needles. So now the first needle would be the serum that would change the genetics. Probably viral going in and inserting DNA into the existing strands. The second one would be stem cells to allow faster growth on the tail. And the third one would be some sort of pain numbing because I imagine it would hurt to grow a new appendage. Okay, now, some of, for some of you, you'd be appalled at that image. You think changing human physiology, that's not good. But, alright, think about this. That would just be like body modification, like tattoos, piercings, people getting split tongues. Just, that'd be the future of body modification, but... Now imagine this same thing. There was a major car crash and this guy lost his arm. So now, oh, he's bleeding all over the place. And it's just pretty bad. And so, they take the stem cell thing that they use to grow the tail and they inject into that guy and he grows a new arm using similar things to the body modification. But now you'd be thinking, but that doesn't use the genetic part. Well, imagine this. Some people are born genetically without an arm because of a mistake in the Hox genes. Well, so now imagine this. Same thing as adding the, new, as adding the guy's fluffy tail. They inject the first needle, inject the stem cell needle, and inject the pain numbing needle, and suddenly, he has a new arm. Now, we aren't anywhere close to that. But there was a lot of um, misconception on these experiments that were going on in the UK where they made 150 animal hy human hybrid uh, fetuses. So now people are saying they're making monsters over in the UK. You guys have think of watched a few too many movies. It's not going to turn into a horrible mutant monster. It's science. we will probably turn into some really weird creature, but it won't turn into a horrible monster that's out to kill us all. Now, a lot of people are saying if we... Well, um, a big thing that's going on in genetics is people are looking into splicing animal genes into humans. Which would be, again, related back to the biker's fluffy tail. So now this, a lot of people are saying there would be diseases crossing over from species, probably. But, that was swine flu. And swine flu is pretty much all hype. You guys remember it? They canceled school in some areas for a few days because there was some reported cases. And not many people died. It was just... We were scared because it was an unknown disease. R rightfully so, though, because... Again, it was an unknown disease. Still, people are saying, like, bird, like bird flu, for example. Yeah, that's scary, thinking that could cross over to us. But what would it do, actually, thinking about it? Swine flu was just kind of like the normal flu. What if bird flu was just all hype again? 
we probably would be able to, if we had that sort of genetic know-how to <laughs> splice genes like that, we would be able to come up with some pretty, with vaccines for those pretty easily. And people are freaking out about genetically modified food, thinking it's causing cancer. I, no, how? It's like, alright, here's how that would work. You eat the food, and it goes down into your stomach, and then digest broken down chemically in your stomach, and then it goes through your intestines. And from your intestines, it's broken down more, and, we, and our body takes all the nutrients out, and then it goes down and all the liquid's taken out, and it goes out. How could genetically modified food give us cancer? It doesn't make sense. Yeah, thinking they could do some pretty bad things with genetic engineering. Most genetic mutations are cancer. If they get it wrong, you have cancer. But that's what experiments in the lab are for. So they don't give you cancer. Of course, at first, there would be reported cases of cancer with this. But I don't see why people are freaking out. Okay, take the sponge, for example. The sponge has this unique cell called an archocyte. And an archocyte would be the equivalent to our stem cells. So now, they produce this throughout their life. For those of you who don't know what stem cells are, they are cells, cells that can turn into any other type of cell. Say, some guy gets into a car crash and his spine's broken. Then, with stem cells, they could use it to make a new spine for him by growing it. Replacing the damaged nerve cells with new nerve cells that were created by the specialization of the stem cells. With brain damage, same thing. So now imagine if scientists could figure out how to make us produce these archocytes. Then we would be able to recover naturally from things like brain damage, broken spines, chopped off limbs. It's just... I see... I do see the negatives here. The people, some, the people who are saying that this could be bad do have some valid points. Bioweapons. They could make some pretty bad bioweapons with this. But again, they could cure lost, lost limbs. They could fix genetic disorders such as sickle cell anemia, Down syndrome. Po the positives far outweigh the negatives on this one, guys. It's just... Alright, so now imagine this. You're working making dinner, you chop off your finger. So now, if we had archocytes that we naturally produced, you would have your hand in a cast just as if you broke your hand for a few months and then your finger's back. And some scientists are looking into uh, how to take this gene from whales and sturgeon that Certain is one type of humpback whale, it doesn't age. So now imagine if they could give us that. Old age wouldn't be a problem. Your heart would still be in the same working condition it's in now in a hundred years. Now it wouldn't be like immortality to where you get stabbed in the heart and you just like rip it out. No, no, it'd be you don't age. You'd still die normally if you're killed. Imagine that. You have the best minds in the world. With immortality. They would be several hundred years old and they would have all this knowledge and they could bring all this knowledge together to better the human race. Our greatest leaders. Imagine if George Washington was still alive today. That would be pretty good. Probably fix. Probably he'd be able to help fix a lot of our political problems now. 
but that would only happen with genetic engineering. See, a lot of people are also freaking out about genetic engineering of animals, such as some scientists have genetically engineered pigs to grow human livers. Now, the purpose of this would be for transplants. There are 70,000 people on the transplant list now. They don't have enough organs to transplant. If they are able to grow these organs, they're able to save lives, hundreds of lives. What's so bad about that? People are saying it's not from humans. It's not, but it's... They've genetically engineered these pigs to grow livers that will be accepted by the human body. Now, they'll probably still have to take this drug that will make them accept it like any other transplant. But, imagine if we're able to get rid of that. Make it so we don't have to take that expensive drug, drug with transplant patients. People are freaking out about the spider goat. Now, the spider goat was this goat that was genetically engineered with a spider to produce web in its milk. Now, this web is used as an eco-friendly alternative to surgical stitches. It's biodegradable, and after the wound's healed, it ends up degrading over time. It has no harm to the body. I don't see why people are angry about that. Do you? Comment, tell me what you think about this.